Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is June 10th, 2019. In this episode, we will learn how to remove and reinstall GNU G++ of MCS2 MinGW on Windows. If you already installed and upgraded to the latest version of GNU G++, then you don't need to watch this video. Or if you want to remove existing installation of GNU G++ and reinstall, then you can follow this episode. Right click start button, search, add or remove. Then click this button. Then scroll down. Find MCS2, MCS2 64-bit, click uninstall. Please note that if you uninstall, all your existing installation will be deleted from your hard drive. Click uninstall. Click yes. Remove all components. Click next. Setup is now ready to begin remove MCS2. 64-bit from your computer. The program directory will be deleted completely including all contents in that directory. If you have some important contents in this directory, then you have to back up before remove. Click uninstall. Please be patient until next or close button is enabled. When you see this dialog box, then click finish. Now you can close it. Start your file explorer. In my case, MCS2 was installed in DEVSoft MCS2 folder. MCS2 folder is now completely removed. In this folder, I will reinstall MCS2 like this. Please double click this link, MCS2.org. If you are using 62-bit, then you have to click this button. If you are using 32-bit, then you have to click this button. So read the message properly here. In my case, I'm installing 64-bit version. I double click this button. This is 64-bit version for 64-bit. I6A6 is for 32-bit window version. In my case, I'm downloading 64-bit version. When download is complete, click this button, show in folder, double-click this button, click next, browse, then in C drive, DEV soft, you can create this folder in C drive, then here, new folder, MCS64, hit enter. Double click it, select folder. Then in C drive, the EV soft MCS64, we will install MCS2 64 bit. Click next. Click next. Depending on your internet connection, it will take a few minutes or a few hours. MCS2 installation becomes much simpler than before. Please note that it is unzipping internally, it is extracting. Please be patient. Now installation is finished, click next. Run MCS2 64-bit now, click finish. You can read more about installation on this website. In MCS2, Pac-Man, S-Y-U, hit enter. Hit enter. If you see warning terminate MCS2 without returning to shell and check for updates again, for example, close your terminal window instead of calling exit, if you see this message, then click this button. Click OK. In your installation folder, devsoft mcs2, you can find minjw64exe. 
right click drag and drop create shortcut here then double click this button pacman su hit enter hit enter if you see these messages then update is complete now let's check about GNU G++ pacman SS GCC GCC 64-bit 9.1 is now available for installation you can install like this copy then pacman S paste it is base DEBL okay or I can copy this this command copy paste okay hit enter hit enter hit enter G++ version hit enter now we installed G++ 9.1.0 we need to install thread building block pacman ss tbb hit enter pacman s we are going to install this library right click copy paste hit enter hit enter now we are installing clang copy this copy paste hit enter we are installing clang hit enter hit enter if you see 60 over 60 then installation is done clang plus plus version the version of a clang is 8.0.0 pwd is present working directory in my case home Thomas Kim there is a blank space if you start Explorer file Explorer then under MC64 there is a folder home this is my working directory this is my home directory there is a blank space I want to remove this blank space to do that this is your username type like this mk p a s s w d i forgot the syntax you thomas kim okay you quote thomas kim it should be your username l hit enter then you can see this kind of message then again this symbol then etc p a s s w d hit enter then etc open p a s s w d with your text editor then remove the blank space here home remove the blank space like this then save then close it then exit exit then click once again pwd 
Now your present working directory, Thomas Kim, there is no blank space. In your home directory, home, now you can delete this folder. Shift, delete. Okay. Now your installation is done. Exit. Now we will create system environment variable. Start your web browser. Extension talkplatform.com. Please visit this website. Click this button to download the complete source code. If you haven't installed Microsoft Visual Studio 2019, please click this button. Please watch this video and install Visual Studio 2019 on your machine. After installing Visual Studio, start your file explorer once again. Click this button, devsoft, mc64, copy the folder path, copy, right click start button, search, environment, edit system environment variable, environment variable, click new, Paste the folder path here, mcs2dir, click OK. We will add one more in the file explorer once again. In download folder, we downloaded this file, right click. Extract, then you can find the CPP extension. Right click, copy. In your working directory, in my case, D drive, devsoft, I will create a folder here, CPP extension root double click it paste the folder path double click the folder double click include copy the folder path copy then click this button once again Paste CPP extension DIR. Click OK. So we created the CPP extension DIR one environment variable, and also we created MCS two DIR. Click OK. Click OK. Close it. Now we have to restart our machine. After restarting, we will keep going. I have just restarted my machine. Right click Start button. Search Environment. Edit System Environment Variables. Environment variables, click path, select path, edit, new, percent, mcs2, dir, percent, slash, usr, bin, hit enter, Click new percent MCS two underscore DIR percent Minji W sixty four BIN. Click OK. Now let's test. Right click 
search Visual Studio Visual Studio 19 click this button open file location scroll up Visual Studio 2019 double click it Visual Studio Tools double click it BC double click it X64 native tool command prompt for Visual Studio 2019 right click drag copy here click OK click OK we need to set a few more variables click once again here we define the CPP extension DIR click this button new include percent CPP extension DIR percent copy this copy click OK new based C plus include PATH path click OK click OK click OK now click this folder tutorial folder copy the folder path right click properties in starting folder control A control V apply I will make it bigger font okay double click it I will close it DIR you can see files like this I will try with O25 G++ SDD C++ 17 O25 template members CPP hit enter A OK it builds successfully also with clang C L A N G hit enter OK it works now with Microsoft compiler C L E H S C S D D C plus plus seventeen or twenty five template members CPP F E A E X E hit enter members hit enter okay Microsoft compiler also works exit now right click properties change icon browse C, C drive program files x86 scroll down visual studio 2019 community common IDE scroll down DEB ENB EXE open select this button click OK apply click OK then this icon is created right click rename hit enter then drag to your desktop your taskbar like this we can now remove this icon in future sessions by clicking this link
we are ready to use latest version of GNU, G++ and Clang compiler. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.